Have you tried to buy when RSI is oversold and got smashed? Or have you tried selling like most people are taught when RSI is overbought, sell and got smashed again? Well, you may want to watch this video. In this video, guys, I'll be sharing with you what RSI is. I'll be explaining to you how RSI works. And then I'll be sharing with you how to not use RSI and how to lose money if you use RSI like most people does. And more importantly, at the end of the video, guys, I'll be sharing with you an RSI strategy that actually works. So welcome to Rockstar Trading Channel and welcome to this RSI Mastery video. So uh, let's actually talk a little bit about what RSI is. So RSI is the Relative Stre Strength Index, it is a technical indicator used in the analysis of financial markets. It is intended to chart the current and historical strength or weakness of stocks or markets based on the closing price of recent trading period. It is a momentum indicator that measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate the overbought and oversold conditions in the price of a stock or an asset. So RSI oscillates between 0 and 100. Traditionally RSI is considered overbought when above 70 or oversold when below 70. So if you're if you're not new to trading I'm sure you've heard of RSI or maybe even attempted to use RSI and what most people does is when RSI is 70 they say it's oversold and they try and sell and look at what's happened in Bitcoin and it, when RSI is oversold they talk about buying and you can see what's happened here again. So it happens quite a lot, people lose money and it's not just in cryptocurrency, you guys know that I trade uh, commodities and forex as well and that happens all over again in every market. You can see a uh, euro dollar was oversold here and we got the biggest move down when it was actually oversold. So that strategy obviously doesn't work so you have to be a bit more clever. If you do what hundreds other people do and if you follow what everyone else does, you're not going to make money in this market. Market. You have to be a bit more clever about it. So some traders interpret that an oversold currency pair is an indication that the falling trend is likely to reverse, which means it's an opportunity to buy. Some traders interpret that an overbought currency pair is an indication that the rising trend is likely to reverse, which means it's an opportunity to sell. So this is the simple RSI indicator like I've showed you on the chart. RSI is overbought here and you can see it goes down and you can see here RSI is overbought again and it has has a nice sell-off so this is actually an example that it works but if you trade just overbought and oversold it will be a quick way to lose all your money the calculation of how, how RSI is calculated is not that important it's more important how you use it but just for because it's an RSI mastery video I want to share with you everything I'll share with you what uh, what RSI mastery is and how it is actually calculated. So RSI, there's a two-step uh, formula. So it's 100 minus uh, 100 divided by pl 1 plus average gain and average loss. And then uh, you use the period. The most uh, common period used is the 14 period. And uh, then you do 100 minus 100 plus 1. Again, it's getting a bit complicated. It's, you, you look at the previous gain. Uh, plus uh, then the one percent divided by fourteen, and then you not point eight percent divided by fourteen. So it's a complicated, uh, fairly complicated calculation. But luckily, we don't need to know what the calculation is. We just need to know how it works. So this is what I wanted to share with you. So this is a myth busters of RSI. So RSI does not actually mean if RSI is going up doesn't mean the price is going up or if the RSI is going down that it doesn't mean the price is going down what it means is is the momentum the momentum is changing not the price so RSI can carry on carry on going down when the price is going sideways or going up so you can see the price was going up here where the RSI was going down while well, the price is going up so that can happen and you can see here as well the RSI is going sideways whereas it went down again so you know it just happens it can happen different ways so RSI going up or down does not mean the price is going to go up or down so that is the first thing that you need to understand when using this um, 
RSI mastery. The second thing you need to understand is RSI overbought and oversold zone. So whenever something's overbought, it does not mean the price is going to go up, it's going to go down, or if the price gets oversold, it does not mean the price is going to go up now. So all it means is oversold and, and overbought. Someone with a million dollars does not care it, what your little RSI indicator is telling you. Um, so you know if RSI can be oversold, but someone very famous, if he wants to, if he wants to sell more, the price is going to go down. So it does not mean the price is going to go up or down just because RSI is overbought or oversold. So now the the myths are go, are, are, are gone out the way. Let's actually talk about what can work. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I provide a lot of content, share, sharing my strategy videos and also providing signals. This Sunday, I'm doing a live stream uh, where I'll be doing live trading as well. The past two videos have gone down really well. I'll be doing another one. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to not miss out. If you're interested, you can also make sure that you join this group and request coins that you want me to look at um this is a very popular group it's completely free to join i'll leave the links below and you can request which coins you want me to look at for for sunday 6 p.m uk live stream so make sure you turn on the notification button to join that stream so guys let's go back to the video and talk about um, what actually works we've talked about what doesn't work let's talk about what actually works so what what we need to look at is not just rsi oversold and overbought we need to look at divergence including rsi overbought and oversold so let's have a look uh, have a look at, at, at an example here so you can see here guys the price is going up but the rsi indicator is not going up as much let me make this slightly bigger so you can see it here guys the price made a, a higher high but the rsi indicator made a lower high and what happened the, there was a big sell-off and if we can find many examples here so there's an example here you can see the price uh, is going down here let's have a line drawn to make it clear and the RSI is going up and we had a nice little rally so this is what we're looking at guys so RSI divergence so not just when RSI is overbought and oversold you buy and sell you look to buy and sell when there is an RSI divergence and even if, if you do that it will improve your win rates but you'll still not this this won't still help you make money to be a great trader what you need to look at is another confluence and another confluence is support and resistance so this could be simple support and resistance like you know price turning points and pivots or it could be a fibonacci i'm doing a in my educational course that i've got if you haven't checked it out i'll leave the links below and um, i've got the full rsi mastery video it's over an hour video and i've got a full trading strategy you can check it out and i'm providing signals there as well it's only two months left uh, well i'll end this at the end of this end of the year so you might want to check this out if you're interested in the full trading course where i talk about support and resistance and trend and next week is going to be the Fibonacci trading video which you can also use as support and resistance so when you see RSI overbought oversold with RSI divergence at a, at this Fibonacci zones and if you if you take a trade there they're high probability trades so hopefully I've explained to you a uh, good you can see it, it I can give you tons of examples the XRP example that I gave I gave about a euro dollar example uh, the xrp dollar uh, xrp a uh, ripple trade again i made a live video exactly when i was buying that is a trade that worked most people don't share the the trading they just talk about coins going up or down i've shared it live and this is a trade that worked uh, this was actually a free trade i posted it on my social media and youtube so make sure you subscribe there was an oil trade that i took let me find that out for you that worked really well oil is one of my favorite pairs that that I look to trade and this was uh, RSI was over overbought you can see and I took it on the shorter time frame and this was a nice little trade that was actually a trade that did not work but I was looking for RSI to be oversold I was looking for a trade and I got stopped out unfortunately so you know as a trader you win some you lose some the only people that win all their trades are YouTube traders or you know social media Instagram traders most real traders that actually trade with money they have winners and losers and another signal that was provided in the group 
um, I actually made a video about it after and I can't give everything away for free I gave the signal to my uh, in the group I posted about the um, there's too many videos here where is it gone the t uh, the Tron trader posted a TRX trade and the reason why if you go back onto the, the Tron chart let me find it out for you Tron is a coin that likes to pump it's a crypto coin you can see there was some RSI divergence here at a Fibonacci zone you can see the RSI divergence guys uh, if you want me to draw it out for you I can draw it out and it had a nice little rally so I'm st and I posted a video about it as well you can check that video out of a TRX breakout I posted a day before so this is not an after the fact I'm saying no this is going up this is going down this is before and in the group I shared exact buy signals and sell signals the first uh, two are sold out there's still one place available in the next one and it's two months left of this trading course uh, then I'm uh, going to close this group down it's been really enjoyable if you're interested in learning more about it you can check it out uh, so going back to the RSI video uh, let's actually talk about review what RSI is so RSI is a technical indicator it's a momentum indicator talking about uh, overbought and oversold and two important things to learn which most people don't know about is RSI is not the uh, RSI going up doesn't mean the price is going up it's it, the only thing that it means is the momentum is going up quicker so oscillators decreasing doesn't mean the price is going down all it means is the rate of change is changing and uh, the second one is overbought does not necessarily mean the price is going to go down oversold does not mean the price is going to go up it's basically an indicator it's just only one tool and RSI is something that I really like but if you use it with different tools you can Includes, you include trend, moving averages, Fibonacci, and um, then you can support and resistance, then you can build a profitable trading strategy. Uh, this is a full video, you can see it's over 28 30 slides explaining all my RSI trading strategy. If you're interested, you can check that course out. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. I've given you some examples, I've given you tools to use. RSI in your trading strategy and I've also talked about how to not use and trade RSI that is a really important thing please don't make these mistakes and you'll be good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, this video is not free well it is absolutely free but I'd really appreciate if you've enjoyed this video if you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if I get 200 likes I'll make the next video and um, I've been started to make trading strategy videos for free on YouTube every time I get 200 likes i'll be making another one so make sure you smash that like button and if you have any questions with this strategy just comment below and i'll try to help you out answering the questions there if you're interested uh, currently i'm doing this live trading course but if you watch this in the future i'll leave links below to f how to find me or how to get in contact with our company or trading uh, the trading educational content that we provide I'll leave links below if you're watching it later on hopefully this video will be popular because I'm providing a lot of good content and things that I've picked up from trading for over the years and you know losing money and trading is a difficult business you win some you lose some but overall um, it's been a great journey for me and it took me ages to find out a profitable strategy so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that video like I said if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you're interested in the full trading course i'll leave the links below and if you're interested in just helping us out just smash that like button and share this video with your friends and family so thank you very much and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much